What's going on, people? It's JC from On2 and Go. Coming back with another video. This time we're going to be doing a walk around on the bike. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, flip it around here. And we're going to kind of go through what I've done to the bike and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I think first we'll just do a quick overview. Just do a little quick walk around, kind of get an over, overall look at the bike. As I mentioned before, it's a 2019 Harley Davidson Electro Glide Standard comes in basic black that's about it it's the only option so now that we're back around we'll go ahead and uh, start talking about the different things I've done to it we're gonna start off with the uh, V stream seven and a quarter inch windshield that I got from National Cycle it deflects the wind pretty good um, I'm about five five and a half on a good day I don't have any issues with the wind hitting my face, my helmet, or anything like that. I've had a couple of comments on previous videos that, you know, it's not good for motor vlogging because it's a little too tall and my camera angle kind of looks right through it. I've tried a shorter one. I went with a uh, three inch stock Street Glide windshield. I didn't really like it. It got a lot of wind noise and I can feel a lot more wind on my face. So I figured it would affect my my microphone a little bit more too so sorry guys went back to the old seven and a quarter inch can't complain i like it all right moving forward we all know the story with harley and their leds or lack thereof i went with the hogworks seven inch halo maker it's a direct replacement for the harley day maker it's really bright it's really nice once we get done i'll turn all the lights on so we can see where what it all looks like also, looking at the Custom Dynamics LED Pro Beam front turn signals. Besides the Hogworks headlight, everything else light-wise is Custom Dynamics. All right, moving down. The lower fairing skirt in black originally comes in chrome. It's one of those things you won't even notice unless it gets pointed out to you. Also, if you notice, you got the lower fairings. Uh, this is a pretty good option I think uh, a lot of protection they got the vents open or closed and also if you notice you got the custom dynamics lower fairing uh, lighted inserts again those act as uh, driving lights in white bright white and turn signals they turn amber when you hit the switch oh almost forgot I got the batwing air deflectors flip them in and out to get some more air I like them. I think they work really good. Those are off of Amazon. I mean, for something that, I mean, it's not very a technical piece. It's not going to affect how the motorcycle operates. I would figure there's a couple things you can get off of Amazon. It's not going to really uh, matter. So you're talking about 28 bucks as opposed to 50, 60. I've seen them as high as $70. As we're coming around, my brake caliper screens, I painted those in a high temp paint, bright red. Kind of going with the red and black theme of the motorcycle. If you notice here, the crash bar. It's the stock crash bar. It comes in chrome from the factory. I had it powder coated in black. I think it's a nice little touch. Also looking at the Kiriakin highway pegs. Those things are a leg saver right there. I've got them adjusted to the point where I could keep my heel on the stock floorboard, just put my toes up there. It's uh, about as comfortable as I need it. I've tried them higher and it actually gave me some pain in the, in the knees. So that's, that's kind of where I keep them. Let's move on to the electronics. Running the Sony XAV AX7000. Got that from Fathead Cycles. Got it with a bundle. So it comes pre-installed with the wiring kit and the Metra mount that uh, is basically plug and play. All you gotta do is screw it in, plug the wire up, and it works. No complaints. They've already had one software upgrade, which I downloaded uh, last year. Had no issues. It runs uh, Android Auto, so my phone, which you can see here, it's a Samsung Galaxy S10. I usually keep it right here in the cubby because I like more of that clean look. But for today, 
I got it up because I'm kind of using it as a second screen so I can see what I'm doing. Got rid of the stock grips. These are the Avon grips. Also the Avon end caps. Note to self or for anybody else that may be looking at purchasing these, these end caps are sold each. They're not sold in pairs. Their website wasn't as clear, but now we know. Got a train coming in. I think that guy over there just missed his train. He's running and the train is already going. Oh well. Catch the next one, buddy. I'll come back to you when the train goes by. Makes makes a lot of noise. Alright, now that the train is gone, let's continue. Like I talked about before, the red and black theme on the uh, Electric Glide standard. It's the only option it comes in. They brought it back out in 2019, which this is a 19. Uh, going into the 2021 models, they haven't changed pretty much anything on these bikes. At first, I didn't really like that the red and black was the only option. That's a painted logo. It's not a decal. When I first bought the bike, I ended up putting a two-piece decal, silver on black. It's just a barn shield black background to cover up all the red and the silver outline. If I can find a picture, I'll post it up here. I liked it a lot and uh, got a lot of compliments on it. But then I kind of figured, you know, the red kind of, kind of grew on me. So I started going with that. I took the decal off and went back to the, the red and black theme. And in keeping with the red and black theme, you got the Kahuna Series air cleaner badge right there. And oh, by the way, the air cleaner comes in chrome. I had that powder coated as well in black. Moving back a little bit, you got the mid-frame air deflectors. I believe these were Amazon purchases as well. You know, I'm not too convinced about these things. I don't notice any heat deflection as what they're supposed to do. Uh, I've heard that about many of the different brands that have the same style. If you run these, let me know if you feel a difference. Uh, I pretty much don't feel a difference but I like the look of them I keep them on there just because it covers up some of those gaps there moving down to the timing cover this is a little badge that I ordered from Millspin it's a veteran owned company that logo is the Marine Raider logo it's one of the units I was with when I was still in the Marine Corps Eventually that timing cover is going to get powder coated black as well as the transmission cover here Why I didn't do that before I don't know just I was just picking parts To send them out for powder coating Yeah, while we're down here, you see the heat shields Those come in chrome as well for the exhaust so it's the stock exhaust pipe haven't changed anything there with the head pipe Just powder coated the heat shields all the way back Also, we have the passenger pegs. These are the mini floorboards from Harley Davidson. The mount here, a little dusty. Those came in chrome, and I had those sent out and powder coated in black as well. Going back up top, you're looking at the Street Glide seat. It's a two up seat. This bike originally comes with a single rider saddle. I'll find a picture and post it here on the side somewhere. Back here on the saddlebags, looking at the Rockford Fosgate 6x9 saddlebag lid speakers. So again, this bike didn't come with any sounds whatsoever. Uh, from the dealership, they installed the four speakers and an amplifier. In the cubby, where my phone is usually at, was a Bluetooth module. And I had my phone connected directly through Bluetooth. But I ended up getting tired of the touching the phone and having to control everything through the phone. I ended up getting hand controls and everything is basically up at thumb's length now. So moving to the back, this is pretty much where most of the stuff has occurred or changed. So I didn't mention, I haven't really done a lot of mechanical work to the bike. This is 
a lot of cosmetics. I got an extended warranty. I didn't want to mess with any of the engine work yet, but hey, you know what? Warranties were made to be broken. So back here, what I did, you have the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam low profile brake light. Just to the left and right, you have the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam fillers in black. These all have the smoke lenses. And then on the saddle bags, you have the low profile bags lights. That's bags with a Z. Uh, this is the first version. I've had them going on two years now. Uh, since then, they've released a, a sequential version. Up top, you see the hardware for the, the four point docking station for the tour pack. I don't have the tour pack on today. And then probably the biggest change the Reinhardt slip-ons, four and a half inch. It's got a really good sound. It's hard to get the sound off these cameras, but uh, it's definitely nice. Some other small touches. You got the little thumb screw from Harley Davidson. You know, it's funny. That's like $25. It's a screw. You can go on Amazon and get one for like five bucks. Also the latches for the saddlebags. They originally come in chrome. Bought those off of Amazon in black. And that pretty much wraps it up. So what I'll do now is I'll pause for a minute and then I'll turn the lights on so you can kind of get an idea what the lights look like. I'll come back to you in a second. All right, I got the bike on in the run position. So here looking at the back end, like I said, we have the saddlebag lights got the filler lights you have the pro beam brake light and one thing you don't see because it's all tucked up under the seat is there's also a triple play module that uh, allows the brake lights to serve as run turn and brake lights so for those of you that don't know the electric glide originally comes with a dog bone set of turn signals here that are a separate circuit from the brake light so when you turn your turn signals on, the two that were here would act as turn signals and this would act only as a brake light. So with that triple play allows all these lights back here to serve as run, as you see now, turn and brake light. So what I'll try to do is uh, flip on the hazards so you can kind of see what they look like. I'm probably not gonna be able to do the other, uh, like the flash patterns. I'd have to take the seat off and, and flip the dial a little bit to see the different flash patterns. So we'll, we'll see what I can do maybe in a different video or if I can find a uh, older video and just kind of put in the little clip so you can kind of see what it is. Now one thing I didn't mention before is this license plate bracket. It's a custom dynamics turn signal eliminator kit. It's a curve bracket. Uh, what it does, there's a small LED light here. I don't know if you can see it on my fingers. Uh, at nighttime, it's really bright, shines on the uh, license plate as required, and it eliminates the turn signals. So that's one of the reasons why you had to go with the extra lights on the sides. Coming to our sides, you also have the saddlebag lights, the latch lights, which also serve as run and turn signals. I don't believe they break. I will actually check it out right now. Oh, they do break. So what I did is turn on the hazards so you can kind of get an idea of what everything looks like. I know it's a little bright out here. It's a little overcast, but it's still a little hard to see. So believe me, at nighttime, they're extremely bright. And if I can find that clip, I'll throw it in there. Here's a look at the front end. You got the Hogworks 7-inch Halo Maker with the always on halo custom dynamics turn signals and then the lower fairing inserts right now it's on hazard and as i pull away it's harder to see those lower fairing inside inserts but believe me at nighttime it's really bright turn the hazards off so we can see what the lights look like And there we go.
I'll tell you what, with those turn signals alone, before I had those lower fairing inserts, it really lights up the road when the sun goes down. With those lower fairing inserts, it's, it's even brighter. I have no problems seeing the road at night. If I had to come up with one complaint about this headlight is the design. I'm not sure if it's between these three lenses here. You do get a shadow a little further on the road. Uh, I'm used to it, so it doesn't really bother me anymore. Well, that's pretty much it. Thanks for stopping by the On To and Go channel. This is a quick one today. Kind of spur of the moment, like I said, I tried this the other day and it didn't really work out, but uh, we'll get back and uh, start editing this and we'll hopefully get a, get a video out to you within the next couple days. All right, thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.